this video, i-discuss ko sa inyo kung paano kunin yung integral ng rational function using partial fraction. Okay? So, meron tayong apat na cases dito. So, let's start with case 1. So, sa case 1, yung factors ng denominator ay linear. So, for example, x plus 2, x plus 4, x minus 1. So, pare-pareho silang linear. And, walang repeated factors. Okay? So, walang naulit. Katulad yan, x plus 2, then x plus 4, iba siya. And then, x minus 1. So, walang nauulit na factor. Okay? So, yun yung case 1 natin. So, ang gagawin natin, uh, gagamitin muna natin yung idea ng partial fraction bago tayo mag-proceed sa integration. Okay? So, i-rewrite muna natin to. So, 12x plus 18 over x plus 2, x plus 4, x minus 1. So, i-equate natin yan sa a over, so, tag-iisang factor ha, x plus 2 plus b over x plus 4 plus c over x minus 1. So, tag-iisa sila, a, b, c. Tapos, ang una natin gagawin, hahanapin natin yung values ng a, b, and c. Okay? So, para magawa natin yun, i-multiply muna natin both sides of the equations by x plus 2, x plus 4, x minus 1. So, para makancel to, no? So, multiply natin by x plus 2, x plus 4, and x minus 1. So, ang matitira dito ay 12x plus 18. Okay? So, makakancel na kasi. Equals, so dito naman ang makakancel lang yung x plus 2. So, matitira tong x plus 4, x minus 1. So, we have a x plus 4, x minus 1. Plus b, so dito ang makakancel naman yung x plus 4, matitira x plus 2, x minus 1. So, b, x plus 2, x minus 1. And then, dito naman, ang matitira naman ito, x plus 2, x plus 4. So, plus c, x plus 2, x plus 4. Okay? So, next, uh, hahanapin naman natin yung value. So, let's start with uh, a. So, hanapin natin yung value ng a. Okay? So, paano natin makukuha yan? So, ilet natin yung value ng x to be equal to a number na yung denominator nito dapat mag-0. Okay? So, anong x yon Negative 2, no? So, kapag yung x dito negative 2, negative 2 plus 2, magiging 0 to. So, ilet natin yung x na negative 2. So, let x be equal sa negative 2. And then, isubstitute natin to dito. Okay, so, 12 times negative 2 plus 18 equals a negative 2 plus 4 and then negative 2 minus 1. Okay, so dito naman, kapag sinubstitute mo yung negative 2 dito, negative 2 plus 2, magiging 0, mawawala na to. Okay, so 0 times b times x minus 1, 0 na. So same dito, kapag sinubstitute mo yung negative 2, magiging 0. Okay, so pag minultiply mo, 0 na yung lalabas. So, eto na lang yung matitira. Okay? So, plus 0, plus 0. So, 0 to, 0 to. Okay, so next, what is 12 times negative 2? That is negative 24 plus 18. That is neg negative 6, no? Negative 6 equals a times negative 2 plus 4, that is 2. And then negative 2, negative 1, negative 3. So, that is negative 6, no? negative 6a. So, divide both sides by negative 6. So, ang magiging sagot for a ay 1. Okay? So, okay na tayo dun sa uh, value ng a. So, proceed tayo dun sa value ng b. Okay? So, sa b naman, isubstitute mo yung uh, yung ilat naman natin yung x na negative 4 para negative 4 plus 4 0. Okay? So, let x be equal to negative 4. So, substitute ulit natin, same process, that is 12 times negative 4 plus 18 equals, pag sinubstitute mo yung negative 4 dito, negative 4 plus 4, 0. Okay? So, dito naman, b, negative 4 plus 2, that is negative 2. Then, negative 4 minus 1, that is negative 5, no? And then dito, negative 4 plus 4, 0. So, cancel to. So, yun yung purpose, no? Kaya, ang nilalet nating x ay yung magiging 0 to. 
para kapag sinubstitute di dito, dito mawawala yung a, mawawala yung c, matitira yung b. So doon natin makukuha yung value ng a. Okay, so 12 times negative 4, negative 48 plus 18, that is negative 30. Equals, eto naman, positive 10. So 10b divided by 10, so magiging negative 3 equals b. Okay? So okay na din tayo sa b. So last one yung c, substitute natin sa 1, no? Ilat natin yung x equals 1. Then, substitute dito, 12 times 1 plus 18 equals okay so pag nilagay mo yung 1 dito 1 minus 1 0 dito rin 1 minus 1 0 so dito na lang matitira c 1 plus 2 that is 3 1 plus 4 5 so 12 plus 18 that is 30 equals 15 c divide both sides by 15 so yung c natin ay equal sa 2 okay so after nating mahanap yung a b c isa substitute natin yan dito sa ating partial fractions. Okay. So, rewrite muna natin yung original. 12x plus 18dx over x plus 2, x plus 4, x minus 1. So, equals integral nung una, a over x plus 2. So, ano yung a natin? That is 1. So, 1 over x plus 2 dx plus integral of b over x plus 4. So, ano yung b natin? Negative 3. So, negative 3 over x plus 4 dx plus c over x minus 1. Yung c natin ay 2. So, 2 over x minus 1 dx. So, labas natin yung mga constant. So, this will be equal to dx over x plus 2 minus, no, magiging minus 3 dx over x plus 4 plus 2 dx over x minus 1. Okay, so kung mapapansin nyo, makukuha na natin yung integral niya. Yung formula lang ng du over u, that is ln u plus c. No? E kapag ito yung ginawa mong u, then ano yung du? That is dx lang, no? kasi derivative na ito, dx lang. Okay, so same dito. Okay, kaya pwede na natin i-apply yung formula ng du over u. So, that will be equal to ln x plus 2 minus 3 ln x plus 4 plus 2 ln x minus 1 plus c. So, dito pwede pa natin siyang masimplify using the property of logarithm. Okay, di ba according sa logarithm, yung uh, constant dito pwede siyang maging exponent ng x plus 4. So, same dito, yung 2, pwede siya maging exponent ng x minus 1. So, magiging ln, gawin na lang nating parenthesis sa x plus 2, minus ln x plus 4 cubed plus ln x minus 1 squared plus c. Tapos, bukod dyan, another property of logarithm. So, di ba kapag nag-plus, okay, katulad nyan, ln plus ln, pwede natin siyang ilagay uh, sing or isulat as single logarithm, no? which is yung plus, ibig sabihin niyan, multiplication. So, magiging multiplication yan. Tapos yung minus, kumbaga, division. So, etong naka-negative, siya yung magsisilbing denominator. Tapos, eto yung numerator. Okay, so by property of logarithm, this will be equal to, okay, so pakita ko na rin, no? Uh, Ln uh, m plus n, ay de, LNM plus LNM. So, same yan sa same yan sa LNMN. Okay, naging multiplication. LNM plus LNN equals LNMN. Tapos, kapag naman LNM minus LNN, so, M over N yan. So, nasa denominator yung naka-minus. Okay, nasa numerator yung positive. Okay, so, gamitin natin yung idea ng logarithm na to. Okay, so dito, ito yung mga positive, ito yung naka-negative. So, magiging ln x plus 2 times, ito yan ha, yung idea na ito, x minus 1 squared all over x plus 4 cubed plus c. Okay, so di ba, mas simplified siya. So, yan na yung ating final answer.